So one of the most frequently asked questions is, can I use a phone to survey my property? What I will explain in this upcoming video is uh, the advantages, the disadvantages, but also what do you exactly need uh, for your phone and how to improve the accuracy for uh, using a phone and measuring your property. What do you need to survey your plot or your land or your area with a phone? First things first, we need a phone. Then, within this phone, we also need that it should have a built-in GPS. And another thing is, we need actually a program that records and stores the data that you are actually going to survey. Like the points, the trees. And such a program is a land survey app. So let's keep you up to date what the best land survey app is for your phone. And that is for everyone, of course, the AppLoss Survey Wizard. First of all, you can do many things. You can stake out, you can survey an arc, a line, a polyline, a polygon. You can connect to almost any GNS receiver there is on the planet. You can save data like CSV, LandXML, DXF. You can draw a line, you can insert a point. You can offset, but you can also calculate many things. Calculate like the distance, the total square meters of your property, the volume, height difference. Keep in mind, it's the easiest app you can use because we made it for you. There is only one big, big disadvantage using your phone to survey a property of land or to survey in any case. And that is the GPS which is inside. That is rubbish. And rubbish means it results into a very not accurate position. But there is a solution. The solution is connecting your mobile phone by a Bluetooth connection with, for example, this GNS receiver, the Amulet Reach RS2. This Amulet Reach RS2 makes the accuracy quite a bit better. What does it actually do? It receives, it has a bigger antenna, that's first of all, right? that's on top. It has an RTK module inside. If I want to measure more accurate than that, I need also another thing. I also need a base station. That base station is stationary placed. The base station can only determine its position based on the satellite signals it receives. After that, it can send the correction signals to the GNS receiver we are using to make sure your plot has been surveyed. Uh, with that uh, correction signal and the satellite signal this receiver receives, it can determine an assessed position so we can survey our plot of land. And that position is then with an accuracy of just a few centimeters. What also do we need is Dum, dum, dum. All right, because I need to determine the antenna height within the receiver and the bottom of the rod. If you want to know the difference in accuracy between land surveying with your phone or a complete GPS kit, please watch this video. I'm sure you're going to like it.